Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum. Salar Khan here, and today with the the last configuration of the counter that register, sorry, that is the parallel input serial output. Parallel input serial output, and we call it P sub, right? So in this, what do you have? You enter the bits all at a single time, but you cannot extract it all at the same time. You can extract only one bit at a time, all right? What do we have? Enter all bits at the very same time. But for extracting, what do you do? Extract. only one bit at a time let's say let's say i'm using a three bit counter in this register we have another mo another control that is the shift or the load control all right we have two modes of operation of this two modes let's say number one is loading mode the load mode and the second is the shift mode. The load mode is for the parallel input, all right? This is for the parallel input. And the shift mode is used for the parallel output. We have a control for this. That is a single control. And this load input is, a, is an active low signal. We have a load slash uh, mode. This is a single input, all right? And we load the values in, into the register loading when this input is zero, which means that this load is an active low signal. All right? Now for the circuit, let's say I'm using a three bit uh, flip flop, right? A three bit register, I'm sorry for that. So say we, 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 we draw it over here. This is let's say D2, we have Q2, right? And then we have over here is D1, Q1, and finally we have D0, Q0. Now you know the clock pulse is given, right? This is the clock pulse to all of them at the same time. And this. The shift mode and load mode, if you have not understood properly, so just in a moment you will understand it. This is, let's say, the clear signal. Fine. Now what do you have? This load and mode input, all right? This is the, sh sorry, not mode, the, sh the load, uh, load and shifter. This is load and shifter. And the load is an input, an active low signal, right? So what do you have? Let's say, let me have it over here. This is this input, right? the load slash shift input all right and we also have a complement of it here okay is that fine and now we have a combinational circuit in between these two flip-flops and what is that combinational circuit? We have this uh, AND gate. We have another AND gate. And we have an OR gate. How to draw it? Like this? Well, I've forgotten to draw this OR gate. Like this. Yes. Now what do you, over here also, you have this AND gate. You have another AND gate. You have an OR gate, right? 
the output of this OR gate is connected to D1. The output of this OR gate is connected to D0. Similarly, if you have another bit, you have another combinational circuit like this and uh, the output is connected to the next flip-flop. The, the output of the two AND gates are, no, are OR together, right? Okay. Now, what are the inputs to this, these gates? So, to the first gate, this Q, uh, Q2 is acting as an input to this gate, right? And Q1 is acting as an input to this gate, fine? Now, what do you have? You have the, uh, the bits, so I don't have another color. So let me uh, write over here with this red color. This is let's say the bit B2. Fine. We have B1 and B0 over here. So and this is the final output. Uh, Q0. Yes, Q0 is the final output. So what do you have? Now to this the first AND gate, the complemented one is given, right? This one. And to the second uh, AND gate, you have this load slash shift signal directly given and you have the B1 given. B1. You give it directly. Okay. Now to the next gate again, you have this complemented form and then you have to the next gate, you have this the normal and the next bit that is B naught this B naught is given is that fine well it should be okay now to, to store something we need to input it alright and the input is the parallel input and I told you that for parallel input we are using the loading the load mode and the load is an active low signal so it should be zero alright so when I make this load signal a zero, this load signal a zero, the complement becomes one. The complement with the red color. So this signal becomes one. Isn't it so? It is, yes? So have a look. Now when uh, you have an input zero uh, to an AND gate, the output is zero, right? The output would be 0 over here, right? And similarly over here, the input is 0 to this AND gate. So anything ended with 0 would again be 0, right? And similarly over here. Uh, no. Wrong. So, I was wondering why am I getting a 0 over here. Actually, we, we are loading this register. So we should be getting a B1 over here. And I had made a mistake. And the mistake was that this uh, uh, B1 over here, it when this signal is connected, so this is connected to the to the NAND, uh, to this uh, complemented version, right, of the signal. And this gate, this gate is connected to the non-complemented, that is to the blue color. And similarly over here. Wherever this red is connected, you connect it to the blue. And wherever the blue is connected, so you connect it to the red. And that is how we will correct it. So, now have a look, okay. When we are loading the register, so we need to make the input, uh, we need to make this, in, uh, this input zero, right. So when this is zero, the NAND gate would be one. Now have a look. Over here, this is a zero, right. Uh, what is the color? The blue color. So, if the blue color is 0, so the anything ended with the 0 will be again 0, right? Similarly, over here you have an input 0. So, whatever be the value of Q1, the output of this AND gate would be 0, right? Now, for the next gate, you have a 1 over here. So, B1 ended with B1 would equal to B1 because anything ended with 1 is the same thing. We have seen it in the in the logical operations. Let me write it with this black color. That an A ended with a zero is zero. An A 
ended with one is a one. So this is the property that I'm using. So here I get a B1 and then A odd, A odd with zero is again A. And similarly A odd with A, this is also A. So now B1 comes here, which means B1 has been fed into D1. So this flip-flop has been loaded. This flip-flop, the most significant bit position was directly loaded. And now, now have a look. For B0, what do you do? You got a 0 over here with the red color. Now this 1 comes here. B0. So B0 ended with 1. Anything ended with 1 is A. Anything ended with 1 is A. This is a mistake. Anything ended with 1 is A. Right? So I get a B0 over here. And anything odd with 0 is A. So A odd with 0 is A. This is fine. So you get a B0 over here. B0 is fed into D0 to get the third flip-flop loaded. Here we had the output B1. Now, you have loaded this register. You have done what? You have loaded this register. Now, which means we have stored the values that we wanted to store. Now, how to extract it from it? How to extract it? So, for that, we need to use the shift mode. And for the shift mode, this particular uh, input needs to be uh, 1. This particular input needs to be 1. So, for that, let me remove these first, the previous ones, so that we don't confuse them later. I hope you are clear till here. All right. So, oh, so this is removed. All right. Now have a look. This particular signal, that is the load slash shift signal, is made high. So the complement would obviously now be low. Now have a look. Uh, a one is connected over here, right? A one is connected over here. And similarly, a zero is connected to this end gate, zero connected to this end. So first have a look for the zeros. Anything ended with zero is a zero. So we get a zero over here. Similarly over here, anything ended with zero. B1, B0 could be zero, B0 could be one, whatever is that. Now, for anything ended with one is again the same thing. So A ended with one is A, which means here Q2 is being ended with 1 so the output would be q2 over here q1 is being ended with 1 so the output is q1 now anything odd anything odd with with 0 is again the same thing a odd with a is a and similar so q2 odd with 0 is going to be q2 and similarly q1 odd with 0 is going to be q1 q1 so now this circuit, this circuit has become equivalent to that circuit that we previously had discussed. This, these are the flip-flops, the three flip-flops, all right. D3, you have a Q3. D2, you have a Q2. D1, Q1. Q2 is connected to D1. Q3 is connected to D2. Q1 is the output. D3 is the input. This circuit in the shift mode is directly the serial input serial output resistor but we have already done the, the 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 inputs now we only require the serial output over here and how is the serial output we shift them to the right this is a three bit this is a three bit now i'm not going into the detail of it for the detail you watch the video the previous video the serial input serial output where you will understand about the serial output the parallel input is the main objective. We have done this through this combinational circuit, the load and the shift control. This was the important uh, aim of this video. Now, over here, let's say I want to use a store of a three bit number 101. So 101 have been entered into the flip flops directly. 101. One. They are available over here. Right? Now, for, for, for that, for, for extracting it, one clock pulse, one clock pulse was required to just put them in. Now extracting it, so you place a zero at B2, as we did previously, zero at B2. So this would make this one a zero. This would make, previously we have one zero one, right? 
So 101 is available to us, which means this one is available to us, the, the least significant bit. If you make this a zero, so this one has been shifted over here to this flip-flop and this one is, uh, uh, sorry, what did we had over here? Zero. So this zero is shifted over here, yes? And, and now the output is a zero, one, zero. Zero, one, zero. Which means that this second bit has also been extracted. Now we need to extract the third bit. So for the third bit, what do you do? You introduce another zero. So introducing another zero at B2 would result to a new zero over here. And the old zero that has now been shifted, the zero, the old zero has now been shifted to this position. All right. And the one over here will now be shifted over there. Previously, the zero was shifted. Now the one over here, uh, uh, one is shifted over here. And this is the serial output, right? So previously we got zero and now we are getting one. This is the serial output. So now we're, the output is zero, zero, one. Zero, zero, one. So which means now what do we have? We have extracted the final bit as well. And 101 was our three bit number. And we have extracted it. So keep in mind, keep in mind that in the serial output, in the serial output, the first bit extracted, first bit extracted is your least significant bit. All right, and this is the last bit extracted, which is the most significant bit. This is the last bit extracted. All right, so I believe that's all about it. The main thing was this load and the shift input. All right, we operating this, you know, we have to give the input as well as we have to take the output. So for the input, we are making the load signal equal to zero because this is an active low signal. When the load is equal to zero, we load the data into the flip-flops. We have stored it. Now to extract it, if it was a parallel output as well, so we would have directly, it was available to us within the same clock pulse. Over here it is the serial output. So we would extract it one bit at a time and through shifting. And shifting when that signal is made high. Loading when that signal is made low. So that's all about it. That's all about today. All about the important types of registers. So I don't know what we have to do in the next video. So till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.